Yo, yo, good morning. This is actually a voiceover because my audio was terrible. Basically, I'm complaining that it's 5 a.m. and I haven't had a chance to test my Mercury props. I have a Fury uh, 24 and 25, the Fury 4, and I want to get out on the water and test that. I, I did go down to the Delaware yesterday, the Delaware River, and uh, it was just blowing too bad to really figure anything out. So... All I got was the Delaware River scum line attached to my boat. Of course, the uh, silt and mud at the boat ramp caked onto my boat trailer tires, which also got into the interior of my vehicle, which I spent all afternoon cleaning out. And so we got some cold weather moving in the next couple days. So I'm trying to find a place here. I found a, a lake, Blue Marsh about 50 minutes from my house. I'm going to try to get out there and see if I can run the boat. And so we'll see what the day what the day offers. What's wrong with this internet this morning? Really? Okay. Blue Marsh. So where's this launch at? All right, the boat launch is here. I probably can run. This whole stretch, west wind, I should be good to go. Oh, looks like a pretty cool lake. Why can't you give me an address to this place? Okay, so you're not giving me an address. It's a Dry Brooks boat launch. Palisades Drive. All right, let's play this game. Play the what's here game. Uh, just give me an address. Corps of Engineer. What's here? Nothing's there. Um, how about that? What is that? Here we go. 1146 Palisades Drive, Leedsport, PA. Let's hit that. Let's grab a picture. And we're good to go. All right, guys, so we made it to Blue Marsh. Looks like a great lake. I will be able to test the props out today, as long as that wind stays down. So I'm going to give it a run. I'm actually uh, just going to put the uh, video in of me changing out my 24 Fury from yesterday down at the uh, boat ramp at the Delaware River, and we'll pick up from there. Today, we're going to be testing out some new props I got. I got three new Mercury props. Uh, two of the Fury 4s and just trying to find out if they'll work for my boat or not. So stay Hey guys, welcome to Smallmouth Crush. My name is Travis and today I'm actually on the Delaware River. Uh-oh, I know what you're thinking. The Delaware? I know I told myself I'll never come back here. Well, I'm not looking for five fish for 8.2 pounds, but I am looking to try and test out a few new props that I got. So I actually have two of the Fury uh, four four blade props. I have a 24 and a 25 pitch and then I also have a brand new uh, 24 three blade that I want to try on my boat. Now I currently have a beat up 24 pitch Fury and so I'm going to start with the 24 three blade just to see if there's a little bit of difference and then we'll rotate props throughout the day. Now I just wanted to start by changing this 24 Fury that I have right now. It's It's not too bad. Uh, there is a few scratches and dings in it here and there. It, it shouldn't affect performance too much, but I'm just going to go ahead and put a brand new one on and uh, start there. Come on, man. Shake it harder. Get rough with it. Let's go. A little better looking than this one. This one's been on the boat since, uh, ooh, since I bought it. Now the uh, prop actually comes with uh, some plugs for the holes. I'm I'm not running anything in the holes of my old uh, Fury, so I'm just going to keep that the same. And then of course it comes with uh, the hub assembly kit as well. Uh, I'm just using my old one for now. All right, there we have it. The brand new one's on, ready to go. 
Now I also have some trim extenders and I believe you can get these at Bass Pro Shops but it'll actually allow me to get a little bit more trim see if I can get some better bow lift. Um, I don't recommend these unless you've tried other options and this is the only um, you know the only thing that you have left to do. It does help. I've seen it help. It's worked on boats in the past for me so we're gonna bring these with and just see if um, if we're gonna need them or not. It's high tide right now and um, we'll have a falling tide. It can get pretty wicked in here with the tide but should be okay. Yeah, it's not gonna happen today. Uh, I just can't get any speed without having to deal with the wave conditions, unfortunately. Okay, this first run is gonna be with the Fury 24, just the three blade. This has been my best performing prop on this Legend V20. So we're gonna give that a run, see what we can do. It looks like 70.1 was the best. Um, I didn't mess around with the jack plate, so the next go around, I'm gonna play with the jack plate, see if that makes a difference. Oh, come on, we're almost to 72. Can we do it? I'm running out of real estate. Give me a little bit more leg and we can hit it. I know we can. at 71.8 I think I saw so I mean that's not bad for this size of a boat uh, I do have some tackle in here about half a little over half a tank of fuel um, I guess I can't complain I mean I'm happy right now let's uh let's put that Fury 4 on see if that makes a difference I'm all right the tricky part's going to be changing this prop they don't have the docks in at the launch ramp, so I already got one foot wet this morning. So I'm just going to back it up onto this nice rocky bank. Uh, I'll figure it out to get in the water without wrecking my boat. I can't get close enough to shore. 43 degree water temp, so I'm looking forward to this deal. I'm not going to put these rubber boots. I'm gonna use these shoes. I brought three pairs today. I came prepared. I got some white legs. I need to get some sun. It's cold. Slightly cold. Extremely cold. All right. First look at the Fury 4. Thing's awesome looking. Badass right there. I mean, what do you call that? Capri? Capri pants? I hate it when chicks wear capri pants. I don't look that much better in them either. 
there you have it, the Fury 4. Okay, that was the Fury 4 24 pitch. It's on the boat. We had just under 72 miles an hour with the regular 24 Fury. Let's give it a run. My legs are too numb, I can't feel the hot foot here. So definitely a slightly better hole shot. I had just under 70, 69, 8, 9, something like that. So a little bit slower with the 24 Fury. I'm going to actually set this camera down, make one more run so I can steer a little bit better. And I'm going to mess with the jack plate and see if I can get her up to speed otherwise. All right, I ran the uh, 24 and mess with the jack plate still about 69 miles an hour so let's throw the uh, 25 on okay so far we ran that brand new 24 pitch fury three blade three three and that seems to be working the best for my boat um, I tried the 24 fury four blade a little bit slower but a little bit better hole shot so and a heavier load, a tournament load perhaps, bigger waves. I run another, uh, I actually run a five blade uh, in the larger waves, which I'll, I'll do a short segment on that when I get back home tonight. So let's give this 25 Fury four blade a try. Okay, so, I mean, 70 miles an hour with the 24, uh, 25, four blade. Um, I was really hoping I was gonna get a little bit more speed. It does have a little bit better hole shot. Not that mine wasn't bad to begin with. I just see a little bit of difference. Um, I was turning it a little bit. I actually turned around this loop here when I first started and it grabs a little bit better. But other than that, I'm probably leaning just with that 24 three blade. I'm gonna put that back on right now. And I'm also gonna put the trim tabs on it to see if that makes a difference. All right, what I'm gonna do now is put the 24 Fury back on the three blade, but I'm gonna put these trim extenders on it which may help a little bit with bow lift. Okay, we got the trim extenders on. The Fury 24 three blade is back on the boat. I think I should be good to go. Let's try it out. Okay, so I just got done with the trim extenders and the 24 three blade Fury. I hit about 71. It's actually a little slower with, with the trim extenders, so 
I'm gonna play around with that, but I think we are about as good as we're gonna get. Hope you guys learned something about props. I'm gonna probably do a little fishing now. See what happens. All right, we just got off the water. We just got back home. 24 pitch, three blade Fury. Ran my boat the best. I was hoping that the Fury 4 would give me a little bit better performance on the speed, but that wasn't the case. It was off just a few miles an hour. Uh, be a great prop if you were had a heavy load, uh, maybe a little bit, uh, you know, rough conditions as far as waves go. It probably has its time and place for my boat. I know a lot of guys that switched over to the Fury 4 had found some better performance. Just wasn't the case for me. Want to share with you this. This is a, a high five made by Mercury as well. This is a 25 pitch. I'll put this on my boat if I'm running in real rough conditions where I don't care about speed. I won't get as fast with this prop, but it will allow my motor, my prop to stay in the water and travel safely if I have to make long runs, uh, especially on the Great Lakes and other big bodies of water. It definitely comes in place during those conditions. So hopefully you guys learned a few things about props today. If not, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hey, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Leave any comments as far as what prop you guys are running in your boat and what your setup, what's your top end speed. I'd love to hear it. Until next time, we'll see you guys on the water.